In the early 2000s, many of the world's top hip surgeons were doing their hip replacements through the anterior approach. So in the first part of the first decade of this century, I started going around visiting those surgeons, seeing how they were doing it. And from about 2008, I've been using the anterior approach for my patients. And the result is that we have very little bleeding, very little damage to the tissues, and patients are able to get up and get moving more quickly. So many of my patients will now go home the day after their operation. I've been doing hip replacements now for almost 30 years. So in my life, I've done over 5,000 hip replacements. But since I took on the anterior approach, I've done probably just shy of 2,000. So it's quite a body of experience now. Any patient that comes under my care, it's, it's really part of a journey and it's a multidisciplinary journey. So the patients will book into the outpatient clinic where I'll see them. And our job is to support them to make the right informed decision and to explain to them what their alternatives are and what the risks and what the benefits are. Because we have good intensive care facilities here at St Anthony's, there's no limits on what we can do here, both in terms of the theatre staff who are trained and highly experienced and have lots of equipment, and the medical infrastructure that supports the work even for the people who are the most fragile and frail. After patients have their operations they go to the ward where our physiotherapists will help mobilize them and teach them how to walk again and give them encouragement and give them exercises. Then they can go home and we have support for them when they're at home so they can phone us up if they're worried at all. And I'll go on and see my patients again at six months to get a check x-ray just to make sure that the implants are all nice and steady and the bones attached itself properly and they're back to a normal life. A hospital like Spire St Anthony's has an infrastructure where it's the patients choosing to come here because they know what level of service they're going to get, they know who's going to be looking after them, they know when their treatment's going to happen, and they know the surroundings it's going to happen in. Many people have a lot of pain before their operations, and many of them, when they wake up, they say, oh, my pain's gone. And many of them will tell me when they come to clinic they had no pain at all after the operation. The thing that makes me happiest is when some of them send me a little letter saying, uh, you've given me back my life, thank you very much, I've done this, I've done that, it's wonderful. Uh, and then you go home feeling really good.